Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about my July favorites. We are for sure in the second half of the year now, which is crazy. Crazy. I know I'm doing my July favorites a little bit early, but I have quite a bit of favorites to share with you guys because I realized I forgot to mention a lot of them in my last favorites video, so let's just get right into it. I realized this is the first sit down chatty video that I'm doing since I've cut my hair and I guess my hair is kind of a favorite because I've just been having so much fun with it. It's so much easier to maintain. I don't have to think about curling it every day or what it looks like in the morning. I can just wake up, brush it and go. Like it's just been so easy and a lot of you guys have been really loving this cut on me too so Thank you. <laughs> if you're in the LA slash 626 area of SoCal, I will leave my hairstylist information down below in case you wanna go get your hair cut with her too. I also vlogged the day that I got my hair cut, so I will also link that down below and also in the info card. My first beauty favorite is this contour palette from VT Cosmetics. This is called their Triple Shading Palette, and there are three shades in here that you can contour your face with. The shades are called Cinnamon, Mocha, and Espresso. I like using the middle shade, which is mocha and I mostly use this to contour my nose. I really really love this shade. I find that it's just really like a nice contour shade. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It just looks really natural in my opinion and I love the packaging of this palette. It's just really cute. It has this mint green color and like gold trimming. It's just really like classy. I just love it. Whenever I pull it out to use, like the color combinations just make me so happy. Moving on to skincare favorites. I actually mentioned these items in my skincare routine video, but I thought I would mention it again here because they really, really are my favorites. The first one is the Shu Amora Cleansing Oil. I've been using this to remove my makeup for the past two months, I think, and I love this cleansing oil. It's probably the best one I've ever used. It is really easy, really simple. It removes all of my makeup, including eyeliner and mascara. I just need one pump of this and it takes off all the makeup from my face. It's really amazing. And it's not too heavy for an oil, it's just right. Like I feel moisturized after and I don't feel like it's too heavy. My second skincare favorite is this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I just started using this a couple weeks ago, but I already love it so much. First of all, the package is just really cute. I love all the pink tones in it and it also smells amazing. It has a fruity scent to it. To me it smells like a strawberry banana smoothie and this has just been so moisturizing on my lips. I apply this at night before I go to sleep and when I wake up in the morning my lips just feel so plump and moisturized. I usually apply Vaseline before I go to sleep but this is like a whole nother level. This has just made such a difference on my dry AF lips. Next, I wanna talk about some contacts that I have been loving, and these are from Pink Icon. It's the Olens in Spanish Brown. I wanted to wear this for the video today, but I actually got the boxes mixed up and ended up wearing a different one, so I can't really show you what it looks like right now on my eyes. These are the contacts that I used in my Central Chocolate makeup look, so I'll just insert clips of that here. These are very natural looking contacts. They're just brown, um, hence the name Spanish brown. And there are some days where I just want a little bit of a glassy or shiny look to my eyes, but I don't want a full on like different look and I don't want my eyes to look drastically different and these are perfect for that. They just bring in a little bit of light onto my brown eyes, uh, dark brown eyes, and it's just a much more natural looking contact. So I really like these for just casual days and nothing too dramatic. And even though they're still like a brown contact, because they're a bit lighter and make my eyes maybe look more like a hazel or something, it kind of does like add a little oomph when I do certain makeup looks. If you have dark brown eyes like I do and you wanna slowly dip your feet into playing around with colored contacts, I would say start off with something like this to adjust yourself to getting used to seeing yourself with a different eye color and then kind of like make your way towards like like blue colored contacts or green or pink or purple, like whatever it may be. Next, I have some fashion favorites and the first one is just a basic white tee right here. I've been wearing this a lot. I know it looks tiny because 
I cropped it. So this tee is actually from Forever 21 and it was a pretty long boxy tee and I bought it so I could cut it up and make it more cropped um, because when it was longer it was actually really ill-fitting and so I really love it now that I've cut it. I also have a like mustard yellow one in this color um, that I also cut and cropped and it's just been a really easy go-to piece for me like especially since it's summer and it's hotter because it's like very cropped sometimes when I lift my arms up it you know will show like my bra and if I'm not wearing a bra it would for sure show my boobs so I actually style a lace bralette underneath it uh, this one and I think it adds like a really nice touch the combination of these two together and I love things like that where like it looks a bit basic or something but then you have a peak of something edgy or cool underneath I, I really like that so I've been really loving these two together my next fashion favorite is something I've been meaning to talk about for months and months and months but for some reason I just kept forgetting to and it's these pair of pants right here these are the houndstooth pants that I got in Hong Kong at the monkey store if you watch my Asia haul you'll know what I'm talking about but every time I wear these pants I always get complimented on them because they're just really cute like the pattern is really cute and on top of that it fits me really well they're just so comfy and actually pretty easy to style and you can dress it up to look a little bit more formal like for an office or you could dress it down and make it look edgy it's just very very versatile next I want to talk about a movie that I really loved and that's Ant-Man and the Wasp I know it's a Marvel movie it almost goes without saying that it would be good but this was so good it's so funny and I think Ant-Man is my favorite superhero out of all of Marvel just because I love Paul Rudd so freaking much. I think he's so hilarious. I love the comedic timing of this movie and I just love I just love it a lot. If you haven't seen it yet, why haven't you seen it yet? It is so good. Lastly, I want to talk about some music I was listening to in July. For some reason, I don't know why, I listen to a lot of older albums in July. And when I mean older, I just mean within the past few years, like not that old. I was listening to JoJo's album Mad Love. If you don't know who JoJo is, you have to check her out. She, <laughs> I was gonna say she debuted but she came on to like the music scene when she was really young like 13 she just has an incredible voice like it's so strong and the way she sings is so powerful but it sounds so effortless and she was kind of MIA from the music industry for 10 or so years because she was suing her record label for not letting her create music I think don't quote me on that I think I'm summarizing pretty poorly but she came back a couple years ago with this album Mad Love and it is so amazing like it is so good her vocals are still just as strong as they were before if not better it's probably better now and so you should really give it a listen I think it's a really positive uplifting healing album for her too especially after all of the legal issues and all that stuff but she's still such a positive amazing person and you can hear it on the album like if you follow her on Instagram you can see it on her Instagram she's just amazing. I also listen to Kehlani's album a lot, her Sweet Sexy Savage album. It's just a really good, fun R&B album I would say and it just makes me feel so badass whenever I listen to her music. I just feel really empowered. So I listened to that a lot last month. That's it for my favorites you guys. I feel like this one went by really quickly but I had quite a few things to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this favorites video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next for me. I'm trying to plan more fashion videos, but it just takes a little bit more time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed July and are looking forward to the rest of the year. I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye!